under coach Drinkwitz. Robinson pitches it. He gets blasted to Damon Hazelton, another newcomer to Missouri, transfer from Virginia Tech. He got Sunbelt record, most wins with 12, 11 1 in the regular season. He's also the play caller. And here comes a blitz. No chance for Robinson. He barely got the snap. And Christian Harris was in his lap. Seems like the prudent decision by Coach Drinkwitz. Robinson, the late pitch. In trouble, Roundtree, and he's dropped for a two yard loss. Beautiful play by Dylan Moses. Robinson lost the football and goes out of bounds. It was poked away by Josh Job, the corner. Just nothing. There's no room to run on the perimeter right now against this Alabama deep. Really on the tight. <laughs> and the norm. Now when you hear Nick Saban say he may be one of the best we've ever had here as an edge rusher, look out saying a lot. He created that play. play. Yes, he did. <laughs> he blew the play up. The pitch was not caught, and Patrick Sertan recovered the ball. Looked like Jalen Knox still had a good chance to recover it, but somehow he didn't gather it in, and Sertan has the takeaway. I mean, he tackled the ball carrier, but he was in there so quickly, it forced Robinson into a hurry mode, and he made a bad pitch. But it was his first step, and that's what the coaches all told us, his explosive first step off the line of scrimmage. Out of bounds before they got the first down. Sets an example for others to follow. An academic All-American. Yeah. I got good grades. I don't know how smart I was, but I got good grades. One of those freshmen thrown into the fire last year. Pass complete to number eight. Textbook tackling. Good play fake to Roundtree. Robinson running for his life, and the ball comes out as he's hit near the 20. Oh, it's a excuse me, not the ball. Mon gets the snap, stands in. They pick up a blitz, throw intercepted. That's Daniel Wright down the right sideline. He's going to take it to the house. That will redeem him to that shove out of bounds that didn't work earlier in the day. A 46-yard pick six. The first interception of the year for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Daniel Wright, thank you very much. That a boy, Megan. There's still a lot of football left after he missed that tackle, and that there's no better answer than an interception taking it back for a touchdown. We keep saying number zero. Cam Brown in motion as Mon is going to flip it out there. He's wide open if he can get a block. And whoa, did he get deposited in the back end by Battle? Weaves the safety. You're calling a guy here and there, and all of a sudden, boom! Make one of those tackles. That's a Xavier McKinney special right there, right? Well, that's who we played behind last In year. In the scoring range. Oh. oh, and a loss. That's what you didn't want right there. Byron Young, big loss. I tell you what I like about this Alabama defensive front, the more I watch it here, their depth. Yeah, and you, you wonder as you call this, is it four down territory or the opponent? Yeah. Only got a, maybe got a yard of it back. It's and a 10. Right around the corner. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. Christopher Allen out of this, especially if it's a touchdown. Mon looked right now is going to eat it. And so. To the outside and watch this take this play away. Nothing there. At least get back to the line of scrimmage. First down from the 37. Oh, what a play that guy's by on Will goal. Anderson. That guy's on go. Boom, around the corner right here. One time. It's Christopher Allen on one side, and this time it's Will Anderson. Whoa, what a one-handed grab that was by Smith, but he's going to lose yardage as a swarming Alabama defense brings him down. Christopher Allen led the way. Mond again, this time in trouble, and he's going to have to eat this one as he's dumped by Christian Harris at the 10-yard line, first and goal. King. Throws to the corner. It's intercepted by Alabama in the end zone, and it is Malachi. I finished a perfect game. I don't know. I just saw him maybe miss one assignment all day. This is going might be a different deal. And they're content to uh, go into the locker room in a tie game. Corral swung down by Christian Barmore. All time against his former assistants. 
Well, sometimes it's hard when you beat friends and people used to coach for you. I think he'll enjoy this yeah. one tonight. This one. 31, low snap in the dirt, picked up and thrown across the middle. It's deflected. Alabama's got the football. Justin and Boydby. And they trade turnovers here in the opening 52 seconds of the ball game. Big answer from Alabama's defense. And that ball knocked down at the line of scrimmage. And really, really good coverage from Dylan Moses, Christian Harris. So fun. Third and 11. Then it pump fakes. Running out of time and down he goes. Dylan Moses is there. Bennett slipped and fell anyway. And it's time to punt for Georgia. George Pickens involved in this offense. Zamir White hit immediately. And I mean down immediately. That's the best I've seen him look. At 50 carries on uh, 50 yards and 22 carries last week. Boy, Another one batted back. balls again. Yep. How many times did it happen against Tennessee? Like three times last I think week, so, right? and it's already two in this football game. And remember this, when you watch this Alabama team so far coming into this game, their defense had had 115 passes thrown against them, and they've only had five sacks. They really have not been putting the pressure on the quarterback. But Three receivers there. Bennett looks that way, goes that way. Back shoulder. Here's Jackson can't hold it. And it was double coverage. Back there defensively, Malachi Moore was there along with Brian Branch. Looking to throw here, extra men coming on the rush. He dropped the ball, scooped it back up though. Lost a couple yards. He's got his hands full this time. Watch the center, right on. He just gets pushed right back into the quarterback. Actually pulls back. Could have got called for holding on the play. That's gonna move Jermaine Burton in a little tighter. He threw him a touchdown pass late in the quarter. Bennett scans a field down the middle nice and he job. went to Burton and he knocked it away. Beautiful job by the safety that time. Yep. Yes. Beautiful job by Josh Joe coming in. It was complete, but he ripped it right after the play got done. Quick snap. Bennett has time. Deep middle. Ricocheted and intercepted. Malachi Moore coming back the other way. Still on his feet. At the 40. Out to the 44 yard line. Another ricochet intercept to open the corner from their own 42. Bennett's in trouble. Got away momentarily. Throws on the run. And it's intercepted. Picked off in the secondary by Alabama. And it's Daniel Wright. And another key mistake. Backfield. Bennett going to go down. Drop back at the 47 yard line. Christopher Allen got to it. Pick up to the 18. And swarmed under is James Cook. Christopher Allen, another nice play by number four. And they're going to keep it on the ground and lose on the ground. Byron Young, the guy we just highlighted, makes the play defensively for. And we'll find out if it's two down territory because it's fourth and two. two years. They'll force a punt. Going to even get back to the line of scrimmage. They're use a timeout and they might go after it. They'll be back in position to get a field goal out of this thing. We're one on one with Sertan. Here's the inside give. Fumbling the ball is the running back and it's picked up by Alabama for a touchdown. Eric Gray never did have full control of it and Malachi Moore, who had an interception against Texas AM and Georgia, busted it loose. Tries to do it, but can't finish it. Moore had about three batted passes against Georgia last week. Sertan with a form tackle at the 32-yard line after the completion. It's going to be third down and 12. Patrick Sertan able to knock down pass. I think that time that Jared read it wrong. He thought it was man. Alabama was sitting in a zone and allowed Sertan to come up. From the Alabama 48-yard line. That'll be the 49-yard line. So much so you might think that even if they don't, they might even have to go for it. They're going to keep it on the ground. And Gray gets swallowed up. Wow, by Phil Matheson. Now sure the crowd's booing. Kept that motor going for the very next play. Watch him cut across the play. Does not allow, does not. Some of the things going on around college football. And going to be a loss of one here for Eric Gray. Chris Allen, the outside backer, made the hit. Wouldn't be so happy if I was fit. No, no, well. no, but kind of knew that. <laughs> no. At some Story. point. Garantano threw nice sidearm out to Gray, and he's dropped for a loss. Way to get rid of the ball. Dylan the Moses, pocket. nice open field tackle. He was happy with this play. He's got a lot of decisions to make, a lot of uh, direction to give the different. 
Maurer is just going to take off. He's got the running back out in front oh, to throw a block, and he took a wicked hit, didn't slide. And DeMarco Hellams let him have it. He kind of slid, he kind of ducked. Ugh. And he didn't get him in the head, though. That was a clean. Small hit in the backfield. Gets positive yardage out of it. Got a couple. It's going to bring up fourth down and two. Balance left, and they run nowhere. And back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you line up if you don't block them. Unavailable. High snap handled by Costello. He was hit as he threw. It was almost intercepted again as his call sheet. It's folded up. Try to throw a little bubble, and it's. Is it a catch? No. Incomplete. Rodgers, the backup quarterback, you may see action again. Costello almost intercepted. This passing game gone south since week one. And that pass incomplete. Can they get a first down? That's the first step for this Mississippi State offense. Three man rush and they still take down KJ Costello. Third down and 14. Costello. Running for his life and he staggers to the 25 yard line run down. Live shot just now getting to the tunnel. Third down and 10. And not in field goal range here. Look out from behind. Rodgers taken down by Chris Allen. To 46 for Alabama. First downs are 18 to 1. Marks in trouble and tripped up by Will Anderson for a loss back to the 22 touchdowns so on 30 talented. out of 41. Yeah. On third and one, it's Will Anderson blowing up the play. Dumped Joquavius Marks for a loss. Rogers stayed in his home state, played for Mississippi State. Joe Moorhead was the head coach. He made that commitment. He throws to the end zone and it's ripped away. Dylan Moses picked it off and apparently got just out of the end zone. And the similarities to the undefeated history making national championship team at LSU. Rodgers, risky throw, picked off by Patrick Sertan. And they will cross the 35 point threshold with a defensive score. That's oh, right. His direction. They go away from him. And if Rodgers had this one back, he would have tried to put this on the outside arm of his receiver. After the 2018 season, early January of 2019, was the last time they didn't score 35 points. I think I the argument for Clemson being number one relative to Alabama, of course, we didn't see Ohio State until last week, and they're in the conversation, too. They came down 28 to 10. Yep. They throw for 342. Quarterback everybody in the country wanted. Yeah, if he had any jitters, they, they came out. They do think this guy gives him a little better spark. And I think he's just his mobility, if nothing else. Oh, no, and you mentioned guys are still in. Oh, yeah. Brothers. On first and goal, it's Rose again, who hesitates before he gets past. So Genovich is checked in at tight end on the right side. Little playing time for Genovich this season. Terry Wilson pulls it back. Looking in zone. Will fire a bullet. And it is incomplete for Ali. Come. Quarterback lead. Wilson hit in the backfield. And he picks up only a long. A young. One of the reasons he continues to develop guys. Intercepted by Alabama. And this one's going the other way. A pick six for Jordan Battle in a 44 yard return. First quarter, we saw two, three guys at once. Third and 13, incomplete again. Seconds left. They've already run out of time once with Gatewood at quarterback. Pressure on him. Dumps it over the middle again and a big knock. It's Hellams. The Lexington Catholic on third and 16 now. Surveys. Tries to scramble and gets taken down by Christopher Allen as well. On third and three. And it's why Missouri. Line to pick up. A first down. Nick's first throw is not going to be a throw. It's going to be a sack. Drop for a loss of three. Chris Allen is there. At 30 now after that last carry. Second down. Seven. Quick swing pass out. Oh, man. Form tackle out there at the 10-yard line on Seth Williams by Patrick Sertan. One of the best football players in college football. 
recognizes the play instantly, comes up, breaks down, and makes a form tackle. Beautiful job. And it brings up third and long. He has a wide receiver as he's grown up into this offense. Play action. Mix in trouble. He's going to go down. Loss of about four. Both eludes one, but this time inside it was. Number 92 yep. that got him first, and then Barmore had a shot of him. Big speed dropped in the backfield. The running game has got to help a little bit. For Allen's second tackle for loss here in the first quarter. He just closes in, and number four takes down the width. You got to come up with something. Here's an end around to Schwartz. Maybe that'll do it. Oh, nope. man. Wow. This guy in the field got Malachi tackled. Malachi Moore, come on. Yeah. Obviously, to, for spring football, still earned his spot as a true freshman, and he lays out and gets the fastest man in the field. Nix looks, throws far side. Intercepted Alabama. Malachi Moore picks it off. His third of the year. He's got Anthony Schwartz. He's a speed guy, but this time Malachi reads the route, undercuts it, and makes the play. What a baller he is, huh? Ready special, and he's only a freshman. For the slots. That's where the throw is going. Sidestep one guy, but he can't get away from everybody else. Boy, Daniel Wright from the safety position, running down what they call the alley play. Watch him just attack the football. Here he comes from the secondary. His presence, there's no lane to run in, and allows the pursuit half of this. Nicks over the middle on a crossing route. Wow, what a hit. Yeah, monster. He just needs a little bit of help, though. Pump fake. In trouble. Down he goes. Throw it away. Gimmick call stopped by Alabama. They tried to do the same thing. Anybody go across that goal? No, they don't. Oh, and Richards, and they, they're playing like it right there. That's Jeez. Anderson. Will Anderson, another freshman. Just attacking the line of scrimmage. Anderson turns it one way. Actually, three. And Nix wants to throw a screen, and he threw it right to the defense. Brian Branch. Brian Branch inside the 10 yard line with another interception. This, watch this, taken on the play, blows it up, and that's why the pass is anticipated. Actually, it was Malachi Moore. His partner, the true freshman, blows the play up, and Branch gets the reception. Number 13 blows it up, holds it, and then the pass goes to his partner, and he actually comes back and gets a block. And Nothing. they didn't. Nothing. Wow. What a stop. Christian Harris was... Fakes the hand up. He's in trouble immediately. Trying to get away and can't. They'll bring him down at the 25. Daniel Wright, one of the first guys there, and so then Will Anderson. Fake blitz is coming from one side, and then the real blitz comes from the other side. Daniel Wright is coming from one side. John Battle is faking in the game. Finley scans a field, rivals it down the middle, and Sertan is all wrapped up with Jenkins incomplete, and Jenkins. Emery hit and dropped for a loss this time. Christian Harris thus far, but this is a big one. Third and 14. Pressure coming up the middle. The ball is out. Finley trying to get back on top of it and does, but it's going to be fourth down as he had it stripped out of there by Christian Barm. Alabama's best inside pass rusher. Just able to reach around and get his right hand on the football when T.J. Finley. See how he's waving it, though? Asked coach if he was okay. He said Stingley is fine. But keep in mind, Stingley and Devontae Smith grew up together nearby and a member of the LSU coaching staff. That, uh, that he brought to the table. Finley pulled that one down, and now he's going down. Will Anderson will drop him along with Byron Young. When there was nobody to go to, that Alabama pass rush finally pressures the pocket and forces Finley to try to move up in the pocket. Not as fresh as possible. Finley loads and goes on a crossing route again, and there is Gilbert. Did he have it taken away from him? Looked like he had it and then had it ripped out by the Alabama defender. 
And I think that's Christopher Allen who was covering him. Officials haven't given us a call on it yet. Allen on the tackle, another one of those Louisiana players. Boy, he does seem like he has the football there, doesn't he? Yeah. He's got to recruit you. <laughs> Woo! Big hit. Put on. Winding down the third quarter. Johnson uh, hit his guy in the hands, but Jenkins couldn't hold it. Second 10. Three receivers to his left, and the left-hander's in trouble. And, ooh, it was not a good landing as he goes down. And Run. Johnson bobbled a snap. Got to try to get rid of it. Somehow left-handed it out of there. Bradford flushes out of the backfield as a wide out. Man. Quarterback draw. Or go to the tight end. It almost one-handed it. Sertan was there, number two on number two. Felipe Franks will go down. The pocket collapses, and he ends up underneath Christian Barmore to the slot left. Franks looking that way. Instead, it's a check down underneath. No chance to get anywhere near the end zone, even if Trey Knox had come up with that reception. Daniel right there, a shoulder injury on the opening play of the game. Play action for Franks under pressure. The ball knocked out of his hands. It's loose, and it is scooped up by the Crimson Tide. Chris Allen gets the strip sack of Felipe Franks, and DJ Dale has the fumble recovery just like that. It's first and goal for the Crimson Top. In their coverage, Felipe's trying to make too much to happen. And then all the Alabama defenders running towards the football. Someone wants to get that scoop. That's what they've done differently over the last six weeks. There's a stop right at the line of scrimmage on Traylon Smith. Jefferson, he'll be sacked again by Barmore. I mean, after today, I might give it to Barmore. Yeah, he has been unblockable. It's your freshman. They'll run a little option here, fake the pitch, and get pounded and lose the football. And it looks like Alabama's got it on a takeaway. On that left knee, as we take another look at the replay here, a nice fake. But on that hit, the ball was knocked out. Strength. Their ability to throw with windows. Smith loses the football. It's another takeaway for the Alabama defense. We physically match up with Alabama. That's, That's the question. A backwards pass to Burks. It's a trick play looking for a touchdown. Burks with a jump ball to the goal line. Brian Branch is there for the interception and the touchback. Jones. A lot of pressure and he stuck it in there, but no. It's intercepted by Trey D. And the ball comes out again and Devontae. Smith has got it back for Alabama. John Mechie was with the hit. Right there, I thought it was a catch, it and sure there's was. the robbery. And yeah. here comes the tackle. Boom. And there's the fumble recovered. It'll be first down, Alabama. Crazy way to get a first down, and we hope that... Uh, You're not allowed to have a blindside block, but you sure can make a blindside tackle. Northside Mitch. Northside Mitch. Trask on first down. In trouble. Down he goes. And Chris Allen with a sack. He's in the slot on the right side. And they're not going to get a throw away. Will Anderson with the sack that will end the first half. Blitz coming off the corner. Trask knows it's coming and down he goes. And it's going to be Christian Harris that gets to him. Their ticket to the playoff again as Trask comes up firing out to the 25. Given ground to try to gain ground. And, and now the ball is out. And who's got it? Big scramble. Alabama says they have it. Motion. Trask set to throw. And he is not going to get it. And he fumbled it as well. And Alabama's got it at the 10. Tim Smith after the hit by Will Anderson. Coming off this right side right here. Gets by John Delance, number 56. Once he gets there, they're taught to go for the football nowadays. He goes and tackles that football. As Ness said, Tim Smith, the true freshman, he knows a football, and he goes and finds it this time. Trask inside his own five. Hit, and he's dropped, and that'll do it.
They're not going to have time for another play. They can't get their players back. It's over. Landon Dickerson says, those are my guys. Is in special teams. And we're underway. The Rose Bowl and college football playoff semifinal. Tyree speedy, and he got blasted, and the ball comes out. And it's recovered by Tommy Tremble. Those tight ends and a good game. Williams in trouble trying to turn the corner. And Tremble, part of that talented tight end tree. Ten catches. He has four already, but just for 14 yards. School coach for two years at American Heritage in South Florida. Book on the run, threw it. Up for grabs, and it gets intercepted by Christian Harris. His first career interception for the sophomore from Baton Rouge. Make some plays. There's the four-man rush, but they get to Book, who can't unload it. With Christian Barmore draped all over him, a big loss back to the 30-yard line. He is an elite pass rusher, and watch him come right in this gap. And when this pressure comes inside, I don't care how good of an escape artist you are as a quarterback, it's difficult. Back on the sideline, fourth down and ten. Book gets it off short of Avery Davis, who couldn't make the catch. With Brian Branch right behind him. Name they brought Ian in for a visit, and he committed right away. He's under pressure and dropped from behind by DeMarco Helms. The first carry. Makes a cut and is met right at the king. Yeah, now look at this. Trey Sermon speaking of Gimpy. Heels from the pocket. Slant. And the ball is knocked out of the hands of Rucker. And a flag comes in. Is it Tig? Nowhere to run. They forced him wide. And Christopher Allen drops him for a loss. Hand off. And not getting there is Teague. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down, and Teague is dropped right on cue. That man again, Christian Barmore, with the tackle for loss, and the tie take over. Final third against Florida. Was out there as the captain on the coin toss, and Alabama, it's that guy again, Christian Barmore. To me, this is the ultimate team. All these guys bought into everything they needed to do to be the best players that they could be. There's more togetherness on this team than almost any team that we've ever had. And they had to overcome and persevere so much adversity through this season. And they've done it magnificently. And I'm so proud of this group for what they've been able to accomplish. They're going undefeated and winning the national championship. The Crimson Tide 2021 National Champions. The architect of Alabama's success sets a record with his seventh national championship. Nick Saban has now coached more champions than any other coach in college football. But credit goes to his players. A unique collection of talented young men working as one. This trophy is a symbol of their solidarity. The Crimson Tide go into the history books together.